we're here to pick up Dirty Urn from the airport because we got a podcast tomorrow. But uh, I wonder what this yelling is all about. All is getting old, Henry! Ho, ho! Episode. The vlog is numbered? What are you talking There's no numbers on this vlog. There never has been. There's well over 600 episodes. 800 episodes. All right, guys, here we go. You don't think it's going to be as bad as you're anticipating? Yeah. Okay. It's good. I like that positivity. I'm out here just trying to roll up on Ern looking like this, but he's taking so long outside of the hotel that I now look like I'm trying to fucking rob a place. Fucking, dude, the, oh shit. <clears throat> All right, so, good morning. It is, I have no idea. You hear that banging? That banging, the banging is the flooring. Flooring being put in the garage. That was supposed to be done like a year ago. Well, right now we're we're up in October. It's October. It's close to Halloween. It's like 12 days before Halloween. Ern was in town. Ern right now is in the UK on tour with Koki. I have been just slammed since he left. I have been making a ton of time to ride my bike. I ride my bike almost every day. Just I need it. Like I need to just get out there and get away. Physical activity. Also, just like bicycles. I've said it. I think publicly, but bikes are like a microcosm for life. So many little things and definitely a lot of little quotes you can come up with. You know, keep pedaling is a good one. So many times on the bike, it's really fucking hard. You want to just quit and you want to stop. And I don't want to sound like a black and white meme right now. You keep going because you have to get home. And then when something terrible happens, hey, sometimes you need help. Sometimes you got to call for help. If I just ripped the fucking derailleur off my bike. Wait, no, no, no. It is really beautiful though. You know, great place to break down. It's the one day I forgot my helmet, so Alex is gonna yell at me for sure. Most things you can do on your own. That's life, you know? And so the bike been great. There's the shop, which is super busy. Eric and Weston and teaching them is like taking a lot of my time, a lot of energy, ignoring, um, you know, the static and the noise of life. I don't really care about what everyone's talking about. I don't even know what people are talking about, which is great. It's, it's great to not know what people are upset about or just going off on, because it won't matter in like a week. They'll never stop being upset. You know what I'm saying? The news is never gonna like publish a paper that says, hey, nothing nothing to be mad about today. Uh, my mother-in-law's, I guess, I don't know if I ever said this on the vlog. Me and Alex got married in February. I, I've said it in passing on the podcast and on Twitter and people are like, did you get married? And we did in February. It was just like, when I went to get her in LA, that was pretty much it. We had planned to be together. So we just made it official because our situation is like, uh, I mean, like we're not gonna split up. We have a lot to deal with. So together as a as a family. So, um, speaking of which, my mother-in-law, her health is back and forth. You know, she had her surgery. She's doing really good after the surgery. She's gonna have another surgery on another foot. On another foot? On the other foot. Because the first surgery went so well. And like, long story short, it should help her hopefully become more mobile um, because her feet will be even. She's doing pretty good right now. Hopefully it stays that way. Other than that, we're still dealing with the obvious loss of Ron. And I think, of course, like this, it's funny with a vlog because you realize how much you talk about something and you're like, oh, well, I don't want people to get sick of me talking about this. Well, it doesn't matter because that's what's really happening. And so I've avoided the vlog for many reasons. I just had to kind of like put back, put it on a back burner. A lot of which is like having to navigate this life and be paying attention to what's going on. When I started the vlog, I, I felt like I got pretty good at my life and um, I was able to include this other thing, this other aspect of filming and editing and thinking about how it's gonna play out. Now I don't really know how my days play out. I don't know how my weeks are gonna play out. It's not something I can do as much doing what I can do because to me it's important. That's why there's these monologues. I really hate long monologues and vlogs, but uh, I'd rather show you than tell you, but there's just certain things I can't show you and I'm not gonna exploit mother-in-law's situation or try to like 
get sympathy for like what we're going through. We're going through a horrible time, you know? Um, Ron was killed. He didn't accidentally die. He didn't do anything wrong. Great health. He's an expert at his field. And someone killed him, you know? And whether that person um, did it by accident or whatever is debatable. We're almost at a year, you know? He was killed November 30th. So this last 11-ish months has also been grappling with the situation and the person who did this. This person hasn't taken responsibility for what they've done. And there was a time and a place where as a family, we were ready to try to get some closure on the situation or at least some sort of headway on it. Uh, that has been, uh, that level of attempted understanding and compassion has been completely washed over. The person who did this has not responded in a way that shows remorse. It's not responding in a way that really has shown any accountability whatsoever. And so we're also dealing with that. So our lives com have completely changed. It wasn't just a vlog episode, you know? It's like the whole next year has changed. Everything has changed. It's fucking insane. It's like insane when you think about it. And there's been a lot of positives. I'm not gonna sit here and say like, everything that's come the last year is a negative, but it's it's all has this undertone of sadness. It all has this undertone of we didn't plan for this. And that's just kind of like what life is sometimes, you know? Kind of like a bike ride. All of a sudden you're going up a big hill and you're like, fuck, I didn't want to come this way, but I can't turn back. I have to just make it up this fucking hill and I'm going to do whatever it is I have to do to get up that hill. Even if it means I have to get off my bike and walk, I'm going to make it up that fucking hill. And that is where we're at, man. Like we're just like climbing this grade and we're going up this hill. It's like tough and it's getting easier sometimes, but I, I think we're reaching, you know, we're, we're, we're ascending, you know, and I, I can never ever call how much further we have to go. There's another hill right around the corner, but uh, always, so you never know, but it's just been a lot. And uh, I've still been doing shirts, which dude, fucking to the people especially the people in friends and family who have like just continued to support me even the people who are not in friends and family because i know not everyone can do that i'm just i'm humbled that people even give a fuck and i'm humbled that people still buy my shit and you know the hype has obviously died down with all of the you know we used to get thousands and thousands and thousands of orders of people who really could give a fuck about me and so I feel like people who still rock with me and the people who are here, people who were the core in the first place and um, the people I've tried to nurture, and I just appreciate y'all, uh, A, not fucking bothering me about not uploading and understanding that there's more important things in life than fucking uploading. It's continuing to fucking rock with me when I do produce or when I do drop something. It's like always positive feedback. It's always great, and um, it really has been helpful during this time where even hard to be creative. Like, I've been super behind. The lookbook's supposed to be out today, a new lookbook. I mean, there's a whole drop that you guys didn't even see via the vlog because it's already pretty much gone. It's really hard for me to keep a schedule and also keep focused on my family and my life and my health and my art and, you know, my wife who is dealing with the loss of her father and caretaking for her mother and just all of this shit that comes with it. Not shit you plan for. It's not the glamorous part of of uh, you know what people want to portray life as but this is what's going on I'm taking it in stride I'm still creating you can still come out to Boulder and get tattooed there will be more vlogs it's just all about timing yeah podcast there's a podcast coming I have a lot of shit that I want to do I'm kind of playing with some ideas and some stuff I'm always playing with ideas of course this thing never stops going but uh yeah Ern is actually on his way back from the UK he will be here uh, on a Halloween. Halloween night he comes in. So November 1st, Podcast 78. Onwards and upwards, baby. We're gonna keep moving, keep rocking. This is just life. It never stops.